the joke is on us. Uh, this is the title for my presentation and our discussion in November and of my short introduction right now. I take as a background uh, several features of synthetic biology and other forms of biological engineering, uh, which I think might be fairly well agreed upon. First, one might say that biology is becoming less of a natural science and more of an engineering science or techno science. If natural science is primarily interested in theoretical descriptions of living, uh, living things and organisms, biotechnoscience pursues strategies for making and building and controlling biological systems. Secondly, research then works to separate biological systems from their natural history and uh, to isolate freestanding technical functions such that they persist irrespective of their original historical biological meaning. And this thirdly presents a new and in a totally different light, the struggle between evolution and design. Darwin in the 19th century undermined theological design thinking by establishing evolutionary theory and a historical understanding of the formation and development of organisms. Today, biotechnological engineering needs to control for evolutionary effects in order to secure its technological designs. Against this background, I find it a bit odd that we find and that we use so frequently a representational idiom when we talk of biotechnological ambitions and achievements. So first and foremost, we talk of biomimetics as if Velcro, the lotus effects, were imitations or even duplications of biological features in the medium of technology. Secondly, we think of synthetic biology as constructing biological processes and one day perhaps organisms. What is created in the lab is supposedly biological things that are only prompted by technology with an emphasis on their perhaps uncanny likeness. Thirdly, we tend to conjure the concept of life as a pivot of sorts or common denominator to construct a kind of picturing relation. There are living things we say in the biological world and soon also in the world of artifacts and constructed things. Especially regarding artificial cells, we talk about whether or not they satisfy some criterion of liveliness, for example. But if there is a change of register from science to technoscience, this is also a, a shift of register from representation, picturing, mapping, or description to that of making and building, inventing and designing, grasp and control. So might we not say then that the repressilator and other biological circuits are parodies of the circadian rhythm, just like a humanoid robot is a parody of a human being, where parody consists in a one-sided, ex exaggerated development of selected traits, and where parody offers insights differently than a theoretical description does. So a difference perhaps, not of kind, and this is something we'll need to discuss in November, but of genre, somewhat like the difference between a historical drama and a farce. In summary, in terms of concluding this tease for the discussion, this famous quote from Dobchansky, which concludes my introduction.